what is cloud computing? It's a term that we hear a lot in many different telecom segments. Um, it's a very trendy term and uh, technology is one of the most burgeoning technologies in the world. Um, but what is it? People are very confused about what it actually delivers. Is it profitable? What are the challenges? Well, cloud computing essentially is the ability to store data or information on a cloud network. Not on a hard disk on your computer or a flash disk. Essentially, it's on a server that isn't close to you. And the reason why it's seeing massive growth, massive uptake globally, is because that it offers cost savings. For example, if you're starting a business, you don't need a huge investment in servers. You can simply sign up to a cloud provider and the cloud provider will give you a subscription where you can then store data on a network, retract that data. You can also have access to that data anywhere you are in the world. So you log into the system and you can access all the data anywhere you want. Very useful for international businesses, global firms that are traveling all around the world. In that sense, it's very useful. The other massive advantage is it's relatively low cost. It, Subscriptions these days, you know, very, very cheap. They can go from $20 a month to thousands, depending on the scale of your businesses. So more small businesses and medium-sized businesses are looking at this technology as a possible option going forward. For bigger businesses, not so much because they tend to have their own investments uh, in their own infrastructure. So it's kind of easy for them to set up their own business and uh, use cloud infrastructure within that business. So what are the challenges? It sounds good. It sounds very useful. For both for consumers and businesses but there are some challenges one is globally very poor regulation so countries are not implementing the correct regulation to protect companies from data infringements so for example say you have a business you have a data network a lot of it stored on cloud computing systems somewhere and another country where the firm that hosts your cloud network passes a law that the government has access to that data so that means, say you're based in the UK, your business, your cloud is in the USA. The US government passes a law that says they can enter that network and extract any information they want. So what happens is your data can be taken by government in another country without your say-so, essentially. And this is a, quite a major issue, especially in Europe, where several European countries that are considering implementing cloud infrastructure across their government platforms are actually hesitant about doing so because they're afraid that things such as US Patriot Act may take the data on their citizens in a different country. Because essentially what you're doing with cloud data is you're throwing it out there into the world and people can access it, whether through hacking, whether through special regulations by governments, or whether through simple other mistakes by data providers. So in that sense, it's a, it's a technology that's very, very fruitful, very appealing, but it has big holes in it that other businesses, other governments can penetrate, maybe take advantage, maybe take data from your computers. So we don't really have quite the control that we'd like over the segment so far. But hopefully it will expand, it will grow, and we expect it to be fairly sizable in five to ten years when the regulation is much better.